Guys, CP Morty here back in the video, and today we're here with an interesting piece of software. So, if you're in the market for a triple monitor setup or you're thinking about recycling some old displays, chances are you might want to set them up in a surround display kind of environment so you can play your games across triple monitors. Now, this is really helpful for people wanting to play simulated games or just getting the most out of their desktop experience. But sometimes Nvidia and AMD doesn't exactly allow this to happen. So, today we're going to sort of get ourselves around this with a piece of software, otherwise known known as Soft TH3. So what Soft TH3 essentially allows us to do is emulate the triple monitor experience that we would get on, well, an actual proper decent setup. So for today we're using three displays that are kind of similar but also two kind of different. So if we just jump into the Nvidia control panel on our desktop, we can see that we've got one here that's an LG monitor, the other one there's a Samsung and another one that is a Samsung monitor. Now Nvidia will identify both the left and right Samsung displays and allow me to put them in an affinity or in fact an NVIDIA surround, but not the center LG one because it's an inch smaller and a tad a little bit different, so it's just like, nah, you're not allowed to do that. Now, AMD's affinity is a little bit more lenient where you can get away with a few more things, but for today's example, we'll be just saying that they don't work across all three. Now, for today's example, the game we'll be using is Payday 2, so what we'll do is we'll just jump into Payday 2 now to show you guys we can't exactly enable the huge resolutions that we would actually like to go ahead and do. Just blow through all the menus really fast and then go down into our options and go into video and resolution, we can see we're not able to go anything higher than 1920 by 1080. Now this is a problem once again if you want to be more than just sort of your center display in a triple monitor setup, you'll want something in sort of the 57,000 sort of resolution period. So we're going to go ahead and enable that with our specific piece of software. So we're going to jump out of the game, yes we want to go out and we're going to go ahead and pull up our website for Soft TH3. So basically what we're going to go ahead and do is jump over to this website, so it's Soft TH.net, so the first link down below, you'll be able to jump to this website, and basically we're going to be greeted by this sort of a little bit dodgy looking website, but it does do a fairly good job, so it's a little bit dodgy, so yeah, just be careful with what you're downloading here. We're going to go down to Get Soft TH and go to the Windows download, as we're using Windows obviously on this PC, and we're going to hit that button right here. Now for me, I've already downloaded it, so they don't need to do that, and Australia's internet's really slow, so we'd be here for another two hours if we wanted to watch the download happen, so take my word for it. It already is downloaded. We're going to get a zipper folder and we're going to unzip that and I just unpacked mine to the desktop and we got the readme file and the DLL. So we're going to sort of ignore the readme for this video because I'm basically going to explain everything that's in that particular file. So let's go ahead and install this in our particular game. Now there's two ways that you need to take a look at actually installing this. So we'll be doing ours on a Steam based install so that means we need to navigate through the Steam folders but if you've just installed it off a disk or a download just find where it's installed and pull it there and we'll get to that in just a moment. So for us we're going to go ahead and open up my Steam Drive. Now I have a whole hard drive dedicated for Steam games but yours will vary depending on whether you install it in the C drive or an external drive. Just look for where your Steam library is. If you're unsure go ahead and jump on the internet and you should be able to find the answer pretty simply to find where your game is. We're going to go down to Steam Library, open that up and Steam Apps. Once we're in Steam Apps we're going to go to the first folder otherwise known as Common and go down to where our game is installed. Depending on what game will depend on the name of the folder but again, we're using Payday 2 for this example. Once we get into the folder, we need to find where the game EXE is lying. Now for us, it's just straight here in the Payday 2 folder, but some games, it's a little bit all over the place. So for us, we know that this is the EXE that we can use right here, and this is where we need to copy the folder. So go ahead and copy the DLL folder and just basically dump it straight into that folder and we've finished the install 100% done. There's no more things to do. Now if you've installed it off a CD or something along those lines, just find where that EXE is and copy the DLL folder into that folder where the EX is. Basically, we're done at this point. We can minimize this window and continuing on. Now, sometimes when you open this up on the first time of installing it, it will give you a little menu saying that, oh no, your resolutions have changed. Just hit OK and you're pretty much OK for doing that. Now, for me, I've already installed this before and tested it before filming this video, so I won't get the little message, but uh, trust me, guys, you will get a small little message saying, hey, it's changing your resolutions. Now, if you're at this stage and your monitor's going into the game and all those good things, 
settings, we can jump in the menu and you've realized, oh no, the game isn't in triple monitor, it hasn't worked, don't worry, we need to actually set this up in the settings of the games. So we're going to go into options and go down into video. Once we're in video, find your resolution option and bam, now we have this 5760 by 1080, which is enough to cover all three of our displays. If it hasn't worked, then this option will not be available on your particular monitor. We also too need to take into note that it might not be exactly 5760 by 1080, as if you've got sub 1080p monitors or something along those lines, your total resolution will be a little bit different. But as my all three are 1080p, it's fairly simple for me to do. We're going to select that and basically we're done at this point. It's going to go ahead and launch up, say that we like the resolution and we can play our games across all three displays. And it's actually a really simple thing to do. Once it's done, we can back out of that menu and finish up with our particular game. Now, before going ahead and doing this, there's a few things you might want to consider before installing this software. First and foremost is do you have enough computer hardware to run this particular type of setup? Just like Nvidia Surround and AMD Affinity, you need to have the video cards to go ahead and support this type of feature as well. You can basically set this triple monitor setup up without having a specified type of video card. So on the Nvidia side, I believe it's the 600 series. After that, you can set up Nvidia Affinity, or Nvidia Surround and AMD Affinity. I don't exactly remember off the top of my head, but bam, right here is the card that you need and basically you can go from there. Other than that, there's not really that much I can say. It's a really simple piece of software, drag the file in and you're basically done. So guys, on that note, like or just like the video accordingly, let me know if you have your own favorite piece of emulating software to go ahead and set up a triple monitor setup. Do you have a different one or do you like soft TH3? I'll be really interested to hear from you guys to see what you guys really like and maybe even do a triple monitor showdown as to see which one's better running AMD or Nvidia Surround or going ahead and using these third party party softwares that make it fairly easy to go ahead and achieve. So drop us a like if you want to see that video. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching. Give us a sub if you like what we're doing. Want to stay tuned to that uh, showdown that might be coming in the future. And I'll see you all next time for another video.